Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Pontoon. I am James and here we are on YouTube. And I know if you've been waiting on videos, they've been rather slow here lately because it's been very busy as I have uh, ramped up production on uh, more and more triggers. I know the 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 F PayPal sale just kind of went whoop. Everybody was uh, taking advantage of that amazing price. Is there a chance that I'm going to run an amazing price like that again? Maybe Black Friday. Don't hold your breath. That literally was one of the best prices that you will see. And uh, oof. anyways, that being said, why are we here tonight? Why am I taking beautiful, wonderful trigger building time to uh, to talk to you tonight? Uh, one, you guys are awesome. And number two, the Ghost Angel 3.0 literally just dropped the other day, seemingly out of nowhere. At least to me, it seemed like this was just not on the radar. This thing just happened. I got an email from Ghost literally moments after... I got the email, I started getting messages from people, hey, do you have the new Ghost Angel? What do you think about the new Ghost Angel? Uh, is this the most amazing thing ever? And, and that is because here in the last month or so, I had done the Glock connector deep dive and, you know, people, people like, hey, Ghost Angel has just dropped, we need to know. I didn't have it, I didn't know about it. So obviously I went through their website, Use the code ANGELME, got $10 off, which I think is good for maybe a month. Um, so I paid basic price, $19.95 plus the $6.95 for shipping. Uh, I'm cheap, so of course I didn't upgrade for the two-day shipping or any of the overnight crap um, because I wanted to save that 10 bucks. And, you know, vendors didn't have it. I paid the $26 because I obviously I wanted to try this guy out how you know I thought ghost was done once they came out with the uh, pro 3.3 and the Evo elite the ghost edge how can you approve upon that well ghost said hey we can do it we have the angel 3.0 this is an anti flinch connector love ghost marketing they just boy they throw it out there and of course every time you buy the next version of a ghost it is obviously the lightest and the greatest trigger in the world because that's what they say. Love all the marketing and in the instructions, which there really aren't any, uh, it's really just a warning. It says, hey, if you don't want a lighter trigger, don't put this in. Fair enough, Ghost. That works. So, do not pay extra for shipping and here it is. I got it today uh, just a couple days ago. So really, I'm I'm actually really surprised. Ghost just dropped this thing off very quickly. Um, and I'm not a blip on their radar. I am not anybody special to Ghost. So that was pretty cool. They, they must have had these guys ready to go. And so here it is today. How did it do? Are, am I excited about this guy? Did it pass all the tests? Is it the greatest thing ever? Is it going to literally, as it says, the angel by your side for you and your Glock. Is this going to keep you safe at night? Is this going to make you the marksman that you should have been? Is this going to allow you to shoot people in the head, as they love to say somewhere in their marketing? I mean, literally, they love love ghost marketing. I love all their stickers. You know, peace through accuracy. So. I am a fan of Ghost. I'm not really a fan of their basic three and a half pound connector, but I do really, really love the Evo and the Ghost Edge, and even the, th the Pro 3.3 is not a bad one. So this is called the Angel 3.0. Now, does that stand for Angel 3 pound, 3.0 pounds? It doesn't say on their website. It does not say on the little card that came with this which is weird because normally they love touting the uh, the trigger weight, but it doesn't. So we're going to have to see, and I will tell you here in a moment because I've already done testing. I'm not going to take your time 
Uh, I'm going to be blabbering more than enough as it is without you having to watch me take a gun apart multiple times as I test it. So I'm going to give you the results here in a moment. And uh, and and earlier and normally normally this type of stuff would go on the website first or uh, Instagram because I really have more time for that. But I wanted to make a special video for this brand new connector to kind of get it out there, get this get this information out there. Because who wants to read when you can just watch a video, right? Angel 3.0. What makes it better? Well, when I initially saw the picture, I saw that this connector, this disconnect tab, was in a different place. Now, really, what does that mean? Well, here is a ghost edge, and you will see that this connector is in more, this disconnect tab is in more of a traditional place. But it has a very hard edge right there that, for me, could be considered a bit of a failure point. If it's gonna fracture anywhere, it's gonna be right there, and it is a little bit thin. So, being a more of a race-based connector, this is what the edge is something that you really can rely on, but I do recommend changing it probably every uh, year to year, uh, every other year, depending on your usage, just to keep yourself safe. And the beautiful part is, Ghost has an amazing warranty program. So literally, for any reason, you can break that tab, send it back. You can break the, uh, the, the 90 at the bottom, send it back to them on a card, and they will send you a new one. So their warranty process, excellent, really easy to, to, to do. One of the reasons I really like Ghost. So anyways, getting back to that, they moved that, and there is no hard edge any longer. There's no weak point. Awesome. I said, well, that alone, if that is all they did, and the price is the same as an edge, well, I'm with that. I like that idea. I really do. That fixes a failure point that I thought I had, or that I thought was possible. But Angel 3.0 came in. I measured the angle. Of the of the ledge and it's a hundred and ten degrees which is that's up there I think the the ghost three and a half is like a, a 101 degree so they really spaced that guy out I thought well that's gonna mess up reset but we'll get back to that in a moment so I threw that guy together I put it initially in my newest build which would love to talk about that, but we're talking a long video because this this thing is amazing. Between the Rook Customs uh, frame and the Zafiri slide, this this is just ah, oh, this is a beautiful beautiful build, one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Um, and then look at these guys, ah, oh, look at those sights from Boogeyman Customs. Is that not the coolest fiber optic, dual color fiber optic? We'll talk about this later. So I put it in this guy initially because I had it in the house, got the edge in, threw it in there, and it's like, let's see what this guy can do. And it felt like an edge, or the angel. I threw the angel in there, and it, blind test, I would have said that it was an edge, but it was the angel, and I went to, I racked it, went to go test the reset, reset was good. Then, as I always do, I lifted up the slide to test the reset, you know, pulled it up as though simulating a magazine, and it, it fired on its own. It did not reset. As the trigger came forward, the striker went forward as well, so I had a reset failure. I thought, okay, this is a relatively new build, and uh, maybe it just doesn't like it. So I went out tonight when I had a chance, and I put it in the Glock 26L build, which I've taken it apart since. 
um, because I'm running short on Glock 19 barrels. But this is the frame that I used in all of my testing for this guy right here. So in order to get an accurate test versus what I was running in my initial deep dive, I threw it in this guy. And unfortunately, I had the same reset issue. Not a good sign for the Angel 3.0. That being said, with the reset issue, I can't at this time recommend the connector. I will throw it in a couple of my other frames, but if they're all having reset issues, then this connector goes into the realm of a custom built, you know, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to work it. You need to be familiar with building a Glock and changing angles here and there in order to really utilize this connector. That being said, um, how is the action? What are we looking at pull weight wise? Well, on this frame, in this configuration, a factory unmarked connector, middle of the shoe, was pulling um, right around five and a half to six pounds. With the Angel 3.0, I was literally seeing anywhere from three to a low three and a half pounds. So the Angel 3.0, that three is literally trying to tell you it's a very light connector. It is a light connector. It does feel good. It does, when there is not tension on the slide, it, uh, it resets about the same as a Ghost Edge, which is about 35 to 40 thousandths quicker than a factory connector. So the action is good, it's crisp. For something with such a wide angle, it has a very crisp action, which is nice. But with the reset issues, I can't, I can't say that it's that great. And for that extra half a pound uh, advantage over a Ghost Edge, I can do that with springs or a couple other modifications. So at this point, the Angel 3.0 is probably one that I would avoid. I'm going to throw it in some other guns. Uh, some other frames, see if maybe I'm just experiencing something, but looking at it, where, where we're at now, I can't recommend the Angel 3.0, which is kind of, which is kind of sad. Like I said, if it had just been a Ghost Edge with this relocated uh, con uh, disconnect tab, I would really have been excited about this connector because price-wise, you're looking at the same price as the Edge but with that weakness removed. However, at this point, with that reset issue, I'm gonna have to say avoid the Angel 3.0. If you want an excellent connector, go with the Edge 3.5. Uh, another one that literally surprised me here recently, um, the NDZ 3.5, uh, which is more of a traditional style connector. More of that, you know, of the, the ones I've tested here lately, you will find on the website, tacticalpontoon.com. Go into the review section, and you will see the Glock connector uh, roundup. Um, this information on the Ghost 3.0 should be in there in another couple of, Did I? I jazz hand. Did the jazz hands. Okay. So that's been it for, uh, for the Angel 3.0. Gonna do some more evaluation and testing on it but for me for now unless you've already bought it and if you have give it a try be careful like I said without a magazine in there it may reset just fine but when you put that magazine in there or if you if you put some tension and this is what I do when I'm testing things out for reset I will grab this slide and I will pull up on it, and then I will try for 
a reset. Okay, what that simulates is the magazine inserted. That's my problem solvable magazine. That that simulates the magazine inserted and spring pressure as well as spring pressure and the presence of a bullet inside of there, which lifts the slide up on most of your Glocks unless you've had it, uh, you know, unless it's a race gun where they've done a little bit of work to it and everything is nice and tight. So that's where we're at. Ghost Angel 3.0. I'm sorry guys, but I'd pass on that one. The other thing about the warranty process, if you run into one of these Angel 3.0s, and, and that's the other thing, that is one thing that I will do is I'm going to contact Ghost. I will see about sending this one in and having them send me another one because it does happen. I have seen it where they have put out a connector and maybe the angle wasn't right, so more than likely they'll send me another one I'll send this one back and we'll get it all switched out. But if it comes back to me and I'm running into the same problems uh, and what I would recommend with you is just downgrade, you know, have them swap it out for an edge. That's a connector that, uh, that works. So that's been Tactical Pond Tune for tonight. I hope you learned something uh, with the caveat that perhaps with my one connector, maybe I got a bad one. It could have happened. So we'll see. More to come. We'll catch you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching.